Hello my friends, this is Dwight from Voice Glory 700 coming back at you with another video. And this is going to be a brief video, but it's a video that I feel is quite important. Um, I was watching uh, uh, a video uh, with this individual by the name of Pastor David Lynch. I'm kind of familiar with him. He and I have spoken on a few occasions at uh, certain meetings that we've attended. And he's a very nice gentleman, extremely wonderful man. And he's a man that uh, I believe has the zeal of the Lord. He really loves God. Anyways, uh, yesterday being uh, Monday or Tuesday, what is it? Tuesday, June the 4th, 2019. At some point in the afternoon or the evening, he was at uh, Church and Wellesley, which in the city of Toronto is the hub of the gay district or the gay community. And the month of June uh, in Ontario or in Toronto, or maybe around the world, I really don't know, is Gay Pride Month. So he was there as a minister of the gospel. He's a street preacher. And he was preaching the gospel. He wasn't, um, he wasn't saying anything to really incite them, but his mere presence was en enough to get a lot of people in the community riled up. Long story short was that he was actually being uh, assaulted uh, verbally as well as physically by those within the gay community and the police were dispatched and at, he was allowed to speak for a time without his megaphone and then at some point he was arrested and detained overnight by the Toronto Police Services and my thought was this is absolutely insane the man has a right to speak it's a public square, a public forum. Mind you, he, he did go into the belly of the beast, as it were, but he's a minister of the gospel. You gotta take the fight wherever you have to take it. And so he went to the belly of the beast and he, he talked about coming out as a Christian in the same manner that gays say they're coming out of the closet. He says, I'm coming out as a Christian. And I'm standing for Christ and I'm speaking God's word and I'm speaking about love and I'm talking about repentance and turning away from sin. And of course, everyone in the gay community, at least those that were around him. He had his, 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 his band or his, a few people that worked with him in the ministry and they were there as a support but he was definitely being uh, verbally attacked and even, even physically accosted at times and he demanded that the Toronto police arrest some of these individuals that physically were uh, interfering with him and the police did no such thing. Now the main officer I think is Constable Dick D-Y-C-K. How, how ironic is that? He's, I believe he's a, a gay police officer as well and he's been with the uh, Toronto Police Services for about 15 years. So he had a vested interest, without a doubt, in having this minister of the gospel removed from the gay community because there's no way they're going to tolerate in Gay Pride Month, or any month for that matter, but especially the month that has been designated for them to promote homosexuality and perversion and lust and, and all kinds of debauchery and there was no way that this particular constable, Constable Dick, ironically, was going to allow this minister to get away with presenting the gospel uh, in his community. And so he was arrested and detained overnight and my understanding is now that he's not permitted to be more or less anywhere within the vicinity where the gay pride activities will be occurring for the month of June, which is really difficult for him to do because he's a street preacher, he's a minister of the gospel, and you know, for him to be restricted to where he can go is going to limit him to some degree. I'm not sure what Pastor David Lynch is going to do. I, mean, I, I, I think if I was in his position, I would still continue to go to those communities or areas where I felt the gospel needed to be preached because that's what he is. He's a minister of the gospel. He answers only to God, not to man. But um, I'm hoping that anyone that sees this video may actually uh, take a look at his uh, YouTube site. It's Christ Forgiveness Ministries. I think it might also be ChristForgivenessMinistries.com. I believe he does have a specific website for street ministry. Um, check out the video. Um, I believe it would be dated for June the 4th, like I said, uh, which I believe was Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Yes. Uh, Tuesday, June the 4th, uh, 2019. Uh, it's going to be something related to Pride Parade or Gay Pride or what have you. Watch his videos, give him support um, however you can, you can financially, uh, morally, what have you. Um, I'm definitely going to give a donation to him. Uh, he's definitely worthy of his work. 
And I'm going to probably reach out to him and just let him know that, hey, I, I support him as well. So anyways, this is Dwight from Forest Glory 700 saying adios for now. Take care. Be blessed. Goodbye.